In this video, we're going to look at measuring the current of a circuit using a multimeter. So first off, you have to open the circuit. We have a gap here between the resistor and that jumper. It's just a one component uh, circuit. We have the red probe here. So for this meter, this is the more uh, complicated meter. We're just going to use this in the video. We're going to use the simpler one in upcoming video. So you can see milliamps right there. There's also the C there. That's actually where the black uh, probe goes when you're measuring capacitance, whereas red goes there. For measuring current, we leave the com, uh, the black probe in com right there. We need to set the meter to a higher current than we're going to measure. There's a fuses in here, and the fuses will blow if you measure more current than the meter is set to. We're going to set it to 20 milliamps, uh, more than we need, uh, but it'll save time instead of working our way down. For this meter, you also have to hit the power button to turn it on, and there you can see it's ready to measure milliamps. So now we'll zoom back. You can see we only got one volt coming from the power supply. 1000 ohm resistor. We expect about one milliamp of current and there you can see that. So that's actually uh, good enough for our needs. But we're going to set it down to uh, two milliamps because it will be a more accurate reading. And I'm finding it to be uh, slightly lower than uh, by about a tenth of a, a milliamp right there as you can see. So now we're going to set it back up to 20 milliamps which is the maximum current the power source is set to output. So we're really safe here. And uh, we're gonna raise the voltage up to 12 volts and we should expect uh, 12 milliamps of current now. So we had to set the uh, uh, value on the multimeter above two milliamps because we might blow a fuse as you can see there. So we got uh, 12 milliamps, looks like uh, 12 milliamps, uh, pretty good. So that's it for this video. Uh, we got a power button. Make sure you turn the uh, power off. And then when it comes to these meters, get the probe off of uh, measuring the uh, milliamp, set it to voltage, and set it to a voltage reading. It's just safer to accidentally measure voltage than current. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.